When you're growing up as a child in a community and in a space where Ramadan is being celebrated, where all the television programming is around the joys of Ramadan. And growing up during Ramadan, there was a TV program which was called Fawazi Ramadan. This was your kind of a game show, you know, it was a game show that was for children. And, you know, I still remember, you know, running right around that particular time and it would always come right before the time of the of the breaking the fast right before iftar time and so i would kind of rush up and turn the tv on and wait for it and it was a very short it was a very very short program and and they would pose a a riddle and you had to you know figure out what that riddle was and then you would give the answer and then you would submit those answers you know through the snail mail and they would get <laughs> sent and there were some really really good, very like monetary and otherwise very expensive prizes to be won. And the the point was that you had to sit and listen every single day. And they were highly educational. All the riddles were, you know, you know, like it would be thematic. So one year it was science, the other year it was biology, one year it was the human body, one year it was, you know, the history, for example. Like they just went over everything. And it was a time like we would literally f- wait for it. And I remember my, my, my younger sister, I will try and send this recording to her because she's, she's, she's not going to forgive me for saying this, but, <laughs> but she, would, she would actually uh, get very upset when, when the programming would end. And her thing was, well, bring it back. And she's, of course, you know, she's a toddler. And we're like, well, we can't bring it back. No, but I want it back. You need to bring it back. We're like, we cannot bring it back. It's going to come tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. I want it now. I want to hear it now. <laughs> and so it was, it, it, it was kind of this anticipation that was there. There was this little 15 minutes of the TV programming that kids would wait for. And then they would start this live show. And there was this beautiful, one of the most beautiful persons I I know and I admire Sheikh Tantawi, and so he's he's a very respected elder. And it was it was a live show, so he would just sit and talk, and people would ask questions, and and he would respond to them. And it was just it, it was like he's sitting with you, and he's talking to you, and you're listening to all the questions. And people, and because these were anonymous callers, the questions that came were critical for understanding. Were sometimes heartbreaking because you know a, a woman might be talking about domestic abuse or or you know a man would be talking about my my parent is dying and and I don't know what to do about it and and young people would call and ask questions about well what is the role of islam in in my choice of the partner or or if i if i want to go and do something you know i want to go hang out with my with my friends but my parents are not letting me do that and, you know, why is it that I have to listen to them? You know, so it was such a very open, absolutely open time for people to sit and listen and be a part of that. That kind of entire time frame was so, I miss it. 